Well, hello there. This is Vituals of Chess Noob Learning and Having Fun with Chess. Now, earlier today, I uploaded a video showing um, Chess Connect version 3. It's a brilliant bit of software. You should definitely get it. However, in this specific video, I wanted to show how Chess Connect works through the Android operating system. Because Chess Connect is a Chrome browser extension, uh, it doesn't just work on the Chrome browser, but any Chromium browser that can run full desktop Chrome extensions. And on Android, one browser does do that. That's the Kiwi browser. So I'm going to show you how to find it, how to download it, how to install the extension, and a demonstration of it working. Well, let's go take a look. So you can find it on the uh, Google Play Store. So search Kiwi browser. There we go. You can see the logo there with the uh, with the Kiwi. Now I've already installed it. Now um, installs like a normal app. You know, you open it. Have a look at extensions. There we are. When you go to the extension tab, go to add from store. And that just links straight to the Chrome Web Store. Search for Chess Connect. And here I had a bit of a typo. <laughs> Chess Connect. There we are. Extension. And add to Chrome. Click the, uh, click the button. It practically takes almost no time. Click OK. Done. And when we go back to extension tab, you can see Chess Connect is installed. Now let's have a look at the details button. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the extension options. Let's have a look at the options. And pretty much just like on the desktop browser. So, you know, it's new features. You know, it's got a list there. Go back to options. So connection method. Now I'm using Chestnut, so happy to connect using Bluetooth low energy, which is the default. Now the sound, I don't like the beep, so stay quiet. And I usually reduce the delay to 250 milliseconds, a quarter of a second. Here we are, save. And let's load up chess.com. Here we go. And the first time you connect after installing, you get that box that just says what the new features are. You can see the button. And here we go. My Chestnut Pro is on. I'm gonna play a bot. Ooh, who will I play? Yeah, maybe Emir. Here we go, challenge, play. And now need to connect. So just gonna press that button. So we can detect my Chestnut Air pair. And I did notice there's a little bit of a glitch there. You can see the button doesn't turn green. Um, but just, yep, connect one more time. There we go, and it's working. All right. And it just works. There we go, E4, detected by the board. Very nice. <laughs> and me plays a Karakan. Now, I'm just going to show the uh, screen capture. Uh, this is a screen capture from my tablet. It's a slightly older Sam Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Two generations old, works perfectly fine. You can see it's just brilliant, you know. Now, you don't have to use the Chestnut app if you didn't want to. And you've got the full feature set uh, here, including playing tournaments, which isn't available on the Chestnut app. Probably just show a couple of more moves, just to, uh, just to show that it is in fact working really well. As you can see, it works really well. A few little glitches here and there, but nothing that stops the gameplay. Now to me, this is potentially quite a uh, game changer because you may not want to have your, um, your, you know, your chestnut board or your electronic chess board 
next to your computer or using a laptop uh, because they're just larger devices. However, here you can use a simple device like an Android phone or an Android tablet. You might have a leftover phone or an older tablet, or even if you buy a new one, they're quite inexpensive and it can potentially be the perfect fit with these electronic chessboards. Good battery life, works really well. And of course, you can install some of the other software as well. For example, the Chestnut boards work with Chess Dojo, works with White Pawn. They're really good solutions to work with Lee Chess. But for chess.com, you're gonna either have to use the Chestnut app, which isn't that great, or potentially using this option, which I think is just brilliant. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, have a good day.